the Fermador Pro Grand Series of ranges are truly sensational. The look of this range is just truly the star of any kitchen. So these ranges are available in 48 inches with two ovens or 36 inches with one large capacity oven. Both ovens in the 48 inch range have telescopic racks. And of course, in the 36 inch range with one oven, you have three telescopic racks. There's also a meat probe, which is truly a useful tool when you're roasting large cuts of meat. Another enhanced feature of these ranges is the timer. So you can set a kitchen timer, which is like a minute timer, and there's a cook timer. Now the range we're cooking on today does have a griddle. It's a Teflon-free titanium surface griddle. But you can also choose a model that has an indoor grill with ceramic briquettes. If you choose the model that has the ceramic briquettes, you can order a griddle plate that you can interchange with the grill plates. In addition to all those features, you get to choose from different cooking modes. We're going to show you now some of the ways we use the various features of this range from the powerful high heat burners to the simmer and the various options for oven cooking. So the large capacity ovens of both the 36 inch range and the 48 inch range will accommodate a huge variety of large cooking pans. You can see here that we've loaded the oven with a full-size restaurant sheet pan, or you can put two half sheet pans side by side. But what really makes it possible for you to cook all these large quantities properly in this oven is the convection feature. We tend to use the convection mode for roasting lean tender cuts of meat and also for a lot of our baking, things like cookies, muffins, um, a lot of appetizers. When we roast in convection, uh, we have a lot more moisture retention in the food. We can cook on multiple racks at one time with no transference of flavor, and we never have to turn the food. When we're cooking a turkey, you never have to baste it. We started off here with um, this beautiful big tray of chicken with potatoes and tomatoes. You can see how lovely and uh, crisp that the chicken got, and underneath the potatoes are cooked with all the juices of the chicken. We're cooking a fruit crisp at the same time. It's a simple dessert that does not require specialty temperatures. And now we're able to slide in this huge tray of um, broccoli to roast so that we can serve the broccoli with the chicken. Now, when we cook this large pork roast, uh, we actually use the regular roast mode. This cut of pork uh, is not a very tender cut of meat. It requires a lot of long, slow cooking We've used the oven meat probe to help us monitor the time. We figured at 300 degrees, maybe three hours, maybe three and a half, we weren't in a hurry. We want that meat to be tender. When you roast in convection, you can put multiple foods in at one time. All you have to do is think about the timing. So convection gives you moisture retention and a lot of versatility with your cooking. So here we're baking three racks of cookies in the convection mode. And we have the rack on rack position one, three, and five. If we bake on two racks at one time, we use rack position two and rack position five. Now, the really most important thing to know about baking in convection is you must reduce recipe temperatures by 25 degrees. If you do not reduce your recipe temperatures when you're baking, you'll get a very quick visual that will remind you. The edges of your food will be overcooked, and the center will not be quite cooked. We've used these light aluminum trays for baking our cookies. They're perfectly flat. When we've baked these short, uh, shortcake biscuits to serve with our um, beautiful strawberries, which you'll see later, we've used the regular bake mode because we find that biscuits tend to work better um, in the traditional bake mode. We've used the small oven for baking them and this jelly roll pan fits in absolutely perfectly, but we've used the traditional recipe temperature. So no need to change temperatures when you use traditional bake. Now today we're cooking on a gas range which has two powerful infrared gas broilers. Not only do you have intense heat, but the ceramic brick helps with moisture retention. Rack position is extremely important when you're broiling. We have our broil pan set on rack position five. Count up from the bottom. We very rarely go to the top rack for broiling. An important thing to remember with the Thermador ovens is the preheat time for broiling is less than five minutes. 
use the broiling the oven broiling pan with the slats to protect um, the oven from any grease that's dripping. Keep the door closed. If you open the door when you're broiling or leave, try to leave the door open, you'll get a lot of smoke, a lot of grease, and you'll do a lot of damage to your control panel. These ovens are self-cleaning, and the self-cleaning ovens from Thermador are equipped with a catalytic converter, never needs replacing, but it absorbs grease and smoke and particulate matter during the high heat uh, self-cleaning cycle, but also during broiling. The burners on the Thermador Pro Grand Series are 18,000 BTUs, with the exception of the front right-hand burner, which is 22,000 BTUs. Now on this cooktop, whether you have 36 inch or the 48, the two left-hand burners and the two right-hand burners all have the extra low simmer feature. The Thermador has the unique star-shaped burner that gives a fantastic flame spread. The burners are elevated, so they're very easy to clean around. So let's look at how do we use this 22,000 BTU burner. We love it for stir-fry, of course, because we want that wok to be extremely hot. We love it for sauté, searing these steaks is fantastic. And of course, if you needed to boil water, put a lid on the pot, and that's the burner you'll choose. So now we have extra low. Another patented process that Thermador has with their stoves. So the extra low is a time cycle. At the highest setting, it's on for almost a minute and off for about seven or eight seconds. At the lowest setting, it's on for seven seconds and off for 53. By using extra low, you create an indirect heat source. So with these steaks that we've seared, you normally would finish those in the oven to create an indirect heat source but we can actually lower the heat to the extra low setting and look, hardly any movement in the pan. We have got the rice going on the back here on the 18,000 BTU burner. This is quick cooking rice, it's jasmine rice. After about 15 minutes, we just put it on to a low setting and it just sits there until we're ready to use it. We like the griddle because it makes our cooking easier. Yes, we can use it for a variety of breakfast foods, our hot sandwiches and quesadillas, but we love to use it as a big skillet to sear things like these um, uh, short ribs prior to braising them. The griddle's great for fajitas. Today we're making shrimp fajitas. You can also make fried rice. The griddle can be used at higher temperatures for browning and searing, but you can also put it at a very low temperature and just hold your food warm there. But look at how easy it is to clean. We can use a silicone spatula, then we just wipe it clean with a damp cloth, and then you take the little uh, drip tray at the base of the unit, empty any grease into the trash, and you can wash it under hot water or in the dishwasher. Now on these other burners, we're showing you a couple of other things that we like about Thermador. These strawberries that we're making have been reduced with a little balsamic behind the strawberries. We have polenta. You know, it's another one of those things that takes a bit of effort to make it because you've got to stir, stir, stir. But then you can hold it on the extra low burner until you're ready to serve. I've held mashed potatoes and things like polenta up for an hour and a half or two hours on that extra low burner. And I've never scorched a pan yet. But every pan relates differently to heat. When you cook with these high, powerful tools, learn how the pans relate to the heat. Heat over moderate heat when you're ready to cook, crank it up. We've given you a lot of great tips today on how to use your Thermador Pro Grand range. With tools like this, you really can be more like a professional cook.